Okay guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, basically another look at the 80 millimeter uh, T7A from uh, x fly Models, available on Banana Hobby. Um, I know Jeremy already did his video. I uh, wanna show you the stuff again anyway. Um, it comes with two spars. This one is only there for shipping. It holds the, the airplane in the, in the box. Uh, then they give you the actual spar, the wing spar that is gonna go in there. Uh, assembly is it, pretty much uh, just like any other X-Fly airplane. It uses two uh, bolts for the for each wing, and then it's gonna use two for each ele um, excuse me vertical and slash rudder, and then one for each elevator. Uh, the elevators have the ball bearing type of adapters. Uh, the the actual uh, elevator rod spins around on the on this bearing inside the, the, the elevator. So as far as assembly or, or things you have to assemble, basically you just have to put in the, the elevator rods from the servo to the actual elevator right there, snap them in there. Um, other than that, um, you know, nose cone, it only goes in one way so you can't install it backwards. Uh, there's a lot of ordnance, uh, this is the main uh, under under fuselage wing tank and it has um six uh pylon stations with uh ordnance i know it's a trainer aircraft and a lot of you gonna say "Ooh, the real one doesn't have any uh ordnance on it guess what it's marketed out to other countries besides here in the u.s the primary role in the u.s is to replace the t-38 trainers but um for all of you that ooh, the you know the real one doesn't have any ordnance Guess what? There's only three of them built so far. Um, so that's why there hasn't been any ordnance on it. It's still doing flight testing and everything else. So basically they all hang under the wings. Uh, there's two different sizes. I don't know if they're harpoons or harms or whatever. I, you know, I'm not into that lingo. That's fine. Um, I think, think the outside ones, the ones on the edge is supposed to be like a Phoenix missile. Um, but anyway, uh, Three stations on each wing, six total plus the under wing one, the actual underneath the, the fuselage, excuse me. Uh, typical wing, if you notice, there's already a CG marked on it, so it'll make it easier for some of you that don't read manuals. Um, and I, you know, I shouldn't say it, it that in a bad way. The only thing I look at the manual for is usually the, the, the control throws and the, and the CG. Uh, they did try to hide the servos a little bit for the uh, for the wings the ones on the on the elevators uh, People have already told me that that hey, you know, they, it looks goofy or whatever um, Because the servo is semi exposed there uh, What can I say X-Fly is proud of their uh, servos and their brand so that's how you get to see them um, The battery compartment this is a 6s 5600 gems ace and I can literally put two of these in there. Now mind you, it doesn't, you know, the hatch doesn't close properly if I put two of them in there. But I just wanna show you that uh, that's how big the the hatch is, or the, or the cockpit area is. I can put two 6S 6, 5600s in there. Um, I don't think the canopy will close because the wires get in the way, but heck, I'll try it, why not? Yeah, no, it doesn't go all the way down and hit, the second battery hits right here. But I mean, it's not supposed to have that much battery on it anyway. Uh, it's just one of the things that I was gonna show you. Um, the cockpit does have a couple of cooling holes. It has three of them, one in each uh, part of the, you know, where each pilot's supposed to be. It does come with a neat, neat little pilot. Uh, it's, uh, there's a piece of wood underneath in the, the cockpit with two screws on it. There's a, a vent hole here a vent hole right here and then uh, there's one on the top of the canopy and two more in, uh, drilled into the football you know what the other ones are not vent holes because that's supposed to hold a second pilot um, if you get one in there or uh, I don't know if we, we would we would be able to buy extra ones but you know what I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna rip the glue off of the cockpit just to install another pilot that's just not gonna be me my main thing to show you guys um, with my video is that um, when they were making this airplane and it was only meant to be five channels, uh, some of you are like, tell them to add the, the flapper on feature. Um, 
So guess what? Uh, they took your uh, your uh, concerns or your suggestions and, and they added flapper on feature. Fi ah, they added the flapper on feature. And what happens is they have the the ailerons in a Y channel. Uh, and then you can take off the Y channel and you know, you, if you want to program your own flapper on and then um, go that way. Let me see, is it the servo or trying to push this wing in there and uh, it doesn't look like the servo is perfectly aligned, no big deal. I just have to align it a little bit. Uh, can't see if it needs, which way it needs to go right now that I'm filming. There we go. So there is the the two wings. The the verticals are the same deal. It has the the servo connector already there in a in a sp in a space where once you just uh, put it in there, it'll it'll lock in place. Now this one has a neat neat feature uh, a feature where they always just you know the, the all the flying surface is just attached to the body. Um, you do have to put in two screws for each each one. Um, for each two screws for each wing, two screws for each uh, vertical fin. One of them is at the bottom here. The other one is on the side. Um, you don't see it um, there. It connects, and basically you put them on there, and there's the basic connection. What I was going to show you here is uh, more of um, the programming of the flaps and stuff. Um, and then one other other cool feature I did is I am doing tailorons as well. Um, it's just my personal choice and, and then you know because I was there all the connectors are in the front um, I started connecting them already but I'll unplug them so you guys can see and basically for the ailerons there's a white cable and two aileron uh, cables there obviously for each aileron if you're gonna just do the straight up ailerons you just connect this to your receiver as the aileron ch channel if you're gonna do flapperons, then you unplug the the Y channel and just connect those two extensions over to um, each of your aileron channels. This is the canopy area, and there's still a battery in there, as you can see. And then where the where the, all the receiver parts are at, I mean all the receiver wires. You can put your receivers on there. Um, if you're gonna do it like I am, you're gonna need four small extensions. Uh, depends on where you put your receiver. If you just put it on top of the multi-function board that's already there, then you don't need the extensions. But if you're gonna try to do flapperons, you need two uh, small extension wires. Uh, so you, you know because you're removing the white cable, so you want to put the uh, the length the same length back on there. Um, and then if you're gonna do what I am gonna do for the elevator, then you're gonna need two uh, another two servo extensions. Now you don't need to do any of this. Uh, the multi-function uh, board has each servo for the rudder already on there. Uh, each servo for the aileron already on. You know, the, well the aileron doesn't go to the multi-function uh, uh, device because you guys want it. Some of you guys want it flapper on, but it has two elevators in there. Two elevator cables go to the multi-function board. I am going to remove those and put them put the extension and put each cha elevator channel into my my own uh, its own channel I am using a lot of uh, a 14 MZ uh, 14 receiver I mean 18 MZ with a 14 channel uh, receiver um, you don't have to do any of this all you need is the basic five functions um, you know elevator aileron throttle rudder slash steering and your uh, your retracts, the flaps. Like I said, some of you asked for it, fine. Uh, but now that the multi-function board is so accessible, I am also going to separate each one of the elevators. I might do that to the ailerons too later on, but that's a different story. Uh, I want to show you what I'm going to do with the with the ailerons. So let me bring in the the camera in close, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. First, we're going to connect everything straightforward the way it is. Um, on the airplane so um, I'm gonna check my radio and see which function is which and so forth um, here we go uh, first connection is obviously aileron so aileron goes gonna go into channel one elevator I have it on channel four 
uh, rudder I have it on channel 6 and you'll see why I, I, I spread them out like this in a little bit um, anyway gear is channel 7 um, the last connection that's there to be made is throttle uh, basically the ESC uh, I don't I shouldn't be connecting this one yet because I'm not using the battery I'm using a um, a regular uh, receiver battery to power this up I'm not gonna be using the, the, uh, the big battery for it so I'm gonna connect that to um, the airplane and power it up and then this is all the way the normal way that it should be working uh, if uh, let me pull the camera out a little bit and then you guys can see um, uh, how I have the ailerons and the elevator working normally and then we'll go into the other programming so I haven't adjusted for uh, reverse or anything like that so basically I'm gonna be showing you guys um, it basically uh, so the ailerons are backwards right now uh, elevators backwards rudders are on their property so let me reverse that real quick for you guys and then uh, server reverse aileron reversed elevator reversed so the elevators reversed and now the ailerons are reversed um, elevators reversed rudders are working properly uh, ailerons are working properly so that's the basic installation that's what you want if you don't want to change anything so let's go back to what I was saying earlier let me get you guys in closer and we'll continue with that so the airplane is working like uh, as it should uh, already if you want to make it um, at the flapper on you're gonna take your receiver uh, your uh, your leads we're gonna separate the Y channel basically we're gonna take those out and then um, what I'm gonna do so I don't have to uh, pull the re uh, put the receiver so close to this uh, to this cable basically I am gonna add two small extensions to each one of them and then Make sure I install it correctly, signal to signal. And then um, I'm gonna have aileron one and aileron two. Um, and we'll go from there. Let's see which one is which first. I plugged one in and that is the right hand side. So I'm gonna leave that as number two. And the left hand side I always put as number one. So now uh, the ailerons, uh, one of them is backwards and one of them is not. So let me show you now. The ailerons are both working the same way. Uh, so I have to reverse one. I'll just reverse uh, the one that's working backwards, which is um, aileron number two, a.k.a. right-hand side. So I'll go here and reverse the right hand side. And now they're both working the way they're supposed to be, right there. Um, so I'm not gonna get into uh, too much of the programming because everybody does it different in different airplanes. But um, basically what I'm gonna be doing is um, I have a, a speed air brake mix um, and basically it's on manual it, it turns on manual I have it to this switch that when I set it up it'll uh, it'll work as flapper on so it'll drop the flaps and then uh, what do you call it uh, um, it'll have I'll have flapper ons that way it doesn't show up properly right now on the on the because I have to program all the other ones, but you can see the aileron servos working normally. And then if I drop the, you know, right there, no flapper ons. So 
So if I drop the flap arounds, then you see the, the servos, both of the aileron servos, uh, are supposed to be drooping. So I have to adjust the, the amount and the direction. Right now they are backwards, if I'm not mistaken. So let me uh, drop the, yep, let me go back to my air brake. And like I said, it's different for every single radio. So, I, you know, my mix might not work for you. And basically right now is on uh, on manual. And let me go to page two. And I have it to minus 40 and, and on both sides. The problem is they're backwards right now. So I'm going to have to go, instead of minus 40, I have to go to plus 40. So let me change that on both of them. And basically when I hit the, the flap switch... They drop a little bit um, and that's probably about enough because I don't know how much uh, uh, I haven't measured the throw yet but if you see now with my air brake when I hit the flap switch both flap rounds both failure rounds go down so let's go back turn our attention back to the receiver here and um, what is gonna what I am gonna do is this multi-function board here it has two elevator servos connected to it and i have enough channels so i'm gonna play with mine again this is not a step that you have to do so i will unplug the two elevator servos from the multi multi-function board and i am gonna plug in two more extensions to each elevator servo okay and then now i'm gonna connect them to where the elevator servo was at so i'm going to remove four channel four and i have four and five and i always like to put um whichever uh flying services on the left first uh so let me plug in number four and then i'll test it and then i'll see if that's the one the right one yep that's the right one it just makes it easier for me to remember which ones to, to modify or play with later on. So now I got elevator on 4 and 5. And what I'm going to check first is that they both go the same way. Now let me move the, the airplane a little bit closer to me this way. And uh, now I'll show you guys the elevators. So right now there's the ailerons on the flaps. Let me see if I can zoom out. There we go. So one elevator is backwards right now. And that happens to be number five. So let me fix that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and uh, reverse that channel. Servo reverse, channel five. Boom. So now both elevators are working the, the same way. Now, what I'm going to do there is I am going to go into my mixes. I'll go into my program mixes. And then I have it already programmed there where aileron is the, the master servo or is the master channel and elevator is the, the slave. I have it at 50%, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. So now what's going to happen is I still have aileron. I mean elevator but now when I move the ailerons if you notice the elevator moves too so I still have to fix it where um, they go the right way because right now it's just uh, I think the elevator is just moving up and down on its own yep so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the mixes uh, work where uh, when I have the 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 ailerons will also make the elevators uh spin just like on the f-16 and just on like the like on the real hawk so let me uh change the program in here a little bit and then i'll get back to you guys all right guys welcome back i want to show you uh the end programming i still have to adjust the centers on the with the sub trim on those but basically what i did is i created two mixes i have aileron one aileron two elevator one and elevator two so I had a, for both the elevators, I had to do the master and slave. The difference is one of them required positive numbers, while the other one required negative numbers to turn the, the correct way. 
And basically what I did on here is now I have the ailerons. There's the flap around right now. The flaps are, de uh, are deployed. Um, I'll have to play with the, you know, how far I want them to go and all that. And, you know, if I want to slow them down or not. But uh, what I wanted to show you now is you see the uh, uh, elevators now act as tailorons too. So I have traveled with the ailerons and I have traveled with the elevators. Um, so that's what basically, you know, the elevators still work normal up and down. But also with, you know, with the actual ailerons. Um, that's just some of the programming options you can do. You don't have to do all of these. These are just, you know, optional or extra. Uh, the board is there. You can use the board and just use the fi simple five channels or you can go all out like this. Um, later on, if I got time, uh, I'll probably turn in the rudders when the flaps come in, you know, make it slow down even more. But does it really, does it really need it? No, it does not. It's just some of the options you can play with with your own radio and with your programming. I know not everybody uses Futaba, but I'm just showing you that what's available. And I'm sure whatever radio you're having, you can find out what options you have there. Um, I am using a total of seven channels right now instead of the five. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the video.